Hello and welcome back to the 1.12.2 pack. We are making something very important. Let's see if this works. Ah, there you go. Alright, we've made the last little piece of our furniture mod. Now, uh, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not stopping or anything. I just finished my finals for this semester. So I had to take maybe like a week off for that. Finals week was was intense, but now I'm back and I'm ready to do some work on the pack. How do I there you go. I have a lot of things I wanna I wanna get done. We have mechanism to get into, um, applied energistics, we need to get a storage system. Uh, I wanted to make a quarry, but I also to, to utilize that I wanted to make a mining world using Mistcraft. So like Mistcraft has these pages and you can make really cool dimensions with that. So I wanted to make like a dimension just for mining. Um, so that's on the to-do list. But the first thing I want to do, uh, which was suggested by, by Nielsen in the comments, sounds like a, a wonderful all-around great guy. Um, what I should do is get into Tinker's Construct. And, and a lot of other people were talking about it in the stream. So getting into Tinker's Construct um, and making a hammer, a really advanced hammer, and then going into the nether and mining there to get uh, nether ores, which are better than the overworld ores. If we put that in a furnace, that gets two gold ores, right? But if we put that in a pulverizer, that gets three pulverized gold. So that's basically tripling your ore. And what I heard is that you can put fortune on, on a hammer and it, fortune actually works on nether ores. So I really want to try that out. So first to get into Tinker's construct, let's get out the materials in you. It's been a while. I want to go into the hammer. Okay, so we're going to need a smeltery to get the plates and the hammerhead. To get the seared bricks, we're going to need to make grout, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I'm going to go and get a lot of sand, gravel, and clay, and I'll be right back. So I've got a few stacks of sand and uh, some stacks of clay, and I'm pretty sure I have, yep, compressed gravel. Let's get the rest of that. Let's uncompress this. So we've got a good amount of, uh, of stuff to make seared bricks. Let's make maybe, yeah, a stack, two stacks, and smelt that up. I have some ingots to take down. Now while we're down here, let's check out what we want to make the hammer out of, right? So I was going through this. We want to look at the tool materials. Uh, I'm pretty sure that one of the strongest things, like cobalt, is the strongest mining level. So anything that's mining level cobalt is really good. It also has a mining speed of 12. Maybe that'd be really good for the head, right? and mining blocks increase your speed as long as you keep going. So that sounds really good. Manilium. Manilium has a mining speed of 7.2. Cobalt is faster. Oh, but its durability is, is lower. I see. And Ardite has a really good durability. That would be good to make the plates out of. We want to have a high level modifier for the handle, I'm pretty sure. And then we want to have, maybe maybe we'll go with cobalt for the head and we'll go with ardite for the plates. So I just don't know what to make the handle out of. So I just read that the total durability of the tool is going to be multiplied by this modifier stat. So we will get a good amount of modifiers anyway, as long as it's very durable. So I'm pretty sure that if we go with the Ardite heads, that'll get a lot of durability. And then I want to go with the Cobalt handle just because um, it, it's going to increase 
the overall speed of the tool while mining. So cobalt head, cobalt handle, and then we'll get the ardite plates. So let's see what we have. We have 10 ardite and 2 cobalt already, but I'm pretty sure we're going to need more cobalt. So we're going to make a trip to the nether for that, but first let's check on these. I'm pretty sure we're going to need some sand. We're going to make some glass because we need glass for some of these things. Uh, let's put half a stack. So let's take a look at the smeltery. So yeah, it needs to be a three by three in the ground. Um, thinking about here. Put that in. Okay, and then let's look at the the smeltery parts. We're gonna need a controller, so that's like this, and then we're also going to need a drain. Yes, possibly two drains because we might need to. Yeah, we might want to use a casting basin and a table, so I'm going to make two of these. And then we're going to need the basin and the table. And uh, the rest is the, no, 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 the tank. That needs the glass. So let's put this around and a glass. I'm pretty sure that's all we need for now. Oh, no, no, no. We need two of these. The faucets. So that goes on the drains. So my plan for getting more of the seared bricks is actually using the smeltery because we can make these, uh, you can use the seared pavers here to make seared bricks. And the way that you make that is using seared stone and you can cast seared stone making uh, you can make seared stone by putting either cobblestone or stone into the smeltery so thought that was a pretty good way to do it I'm going to put the controller maybe right here and then I'll drain out on this side so I'll put the two drains there the tank will be over here, and we're going to have to put the basin, put the dirt back, Let's put the basin over here, table there, and the faucets. So now we need to get the seared bricks for everything else. Two more. Okay, and this, yep, should be a working smeltery. So I'm going to put some lava in there. So we gotta go to a source of lava. We've got a nice one over here. I'm gonna go to sleep. So that I don't run into monsters. Set a highlight there. And do we have a bucket on us? No. Oh, do I have an extra reservoir? Yeah, let's make an extra reservoir for lava. It's about time. We need redstone. Do I have iron on me? Let's get that. Um, we also need copper and tin. Tin, there you are. Nope. And a bucket. We can make that. Need one of these. And then we can just make that. Yeah, okay, so this will be for lava. Let's head over there and get our lava. 
So if I set this to, yeah, fill, can I just take all this up? This is nice. Okay. Now we head back. So we set this to empty, and then I can fill up. Okay, that, that automatically puts all the lava we need. So now what I'm going to do is get some cobble. Because we have a lot of cobblestone. Uh, might need some more. I'm going to take out the compressed. Just uncompress that for now. And if you put this in here, right, this should start making the seared stuff for us. Now, I want to find a way to do that automatically. Maybe a hopper can do that for us. Let me see if I have any hoppers lying around. I probably should. Yep. So will that automatically feed things into the smeltery when it's done? Yes, it will. That is great news. So now what I'm going to do is we have two blocks of seared stone. So I'm going to have that going in there. And this should turn into the seared stone thing there. Yeah, seared stone. I can turn that into that, which turns into seared bricks. I'm going to make the rest of this into seared bricks. Oh, no, no, no. We're just going to build on our thing with the stone that comes out of this. So I'll come back after we have a second layer done. I decided since I had so much of this stuff left over, I might as well speed up the process by just smelting up some more grout and I'm gonna turn this into the seared bricks. I also wanted the the um, the normal seared bricks so I can make another little tank and maybe any other things that I need. So I'm gonna make the the building blocks, the these seared bricks out of this stone here. Like I got blood in here from stepping in it. <laughs> So I'm going to make more seared bricks this way and any extra components I'm going to make with these, these seared bricks, like one more tank. Might as well make two more tanks because I think I'm going to make it three layers high. I, that should stack eventually. this in there and then that so that should be yep two layers of the smeltery bigger area very cool so I'll be making it three stories all right so we got all this seared stone Gonna put the third layer on and our last tank. And we need one more seared stone actually, so I'm just gonna make this out of the brick. Okay. We're gonna need to go get more lava, but that should be a pretty big area. For 216 ingots. Nice. Now, the next part of this is to make the the wooden parts, right? We're going to need to get, let's get these woods. And I know somewhere, it might be in our bag, we do have it there, but yeah, we have a bunch of sticks. So we got to take these, and let's first 
make a good amount of patterns. Like 16 patterns, right? Um, I'm gonna we're gonna need to make a stencil table and then maybe like that. Yeah, pattern chest. That looks new actually, it looks like a drawer now. And we're gonna need to make this tool station. So I think that's it. I'm gonna put this stuff away for now. So I don't think we need it. And the clay I'm gonna put in here. So let's get let's go to sleep. So out here, um, we'll have a little area for making our stencils and stuff. Um, I'm thinking of putting it like, maybe let's put some dirt over here. So that is accessible over here. And let's put the stencil table there. And we're going to need the pattern chest here tool station. That might be how it goes. So we have to make the stencils for the stuff we need. I almost forgot actually we don't need this tool station. We need to upgrade it. So what we need to do is get four blocks of iron. No, no. Yeah, four blocks of iron. And then we put the blocks like this with some of the seared bricks. That makes a tool forge. Now the tool forge can actually make the things we need. Yeah, that can make the upgraded stuff like a hammer. Okay, so we need a tough tool rod, a hammer head, and two large plates. So those are the stencils we need to make. So let's make the tough tool rod, put that in the pattern chest, uh, large plates, and let's get the hammer head right there. So we can take a look. This needs three, and these two need eight. That's material costs. So if we were to make like a hammer head in here, well, if we were to put it together, probably out here. We're going to need casts and I think we need eight of each item like of each material to actually make that. So we have to get casts together for this stuff. Now I knew I was forgetting another piece. We need to actually make this important part, the part builder. You can tell it's been a while since I've done Tinkers. So the part builder, we're going to put that there. This actually lets us make the parts. So we have to put the hammer head in there. And then, um, yeah, okay, so that's eight. Um, is that going to work? Good. So we make, we make a, a hammer head that we can use as like a, a base to make a cast. So we're going to need to do this for each of the things, right? So now that we have those, let's take our wood out of there. We can put those down, and I'm pretty sure we also need to use, we need to use brass or gold. So two ingots of gold or one ingot of either of these brass. And now I'm, I'm pretty sure that we have aluminum brass. Nickel, nickel. Oh, did I make it in Thomcraft? A brass plate. Can I smelt that down? That makes an ingot. Good. And how did I make this brass? An alchemy. Just iron? with five instrumentum. Maybe I'll make more brass. So flint here has five instrumentum. So if I toss in two flints, let's get that back. And then actually I should be right clicking. If I put in iron, 
there we go. We should get the rest of our brass. So let's go back up. Actually, I'll clear that out. Probably going to get some bad juju for that. Let's put in our brass stuff. So that's going to cook in to the, uh, the brass that we can use. Hopefully we can use this to make our, our cast, right? Yeah, that's molten brass, so we can use that. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put like our large plate. Ooh, now, I know the plate. Let's take a look at the part builder. This is a material cost of eight. Let's test it out with the uh, the wooden rod. Let's see if it takes that much brass instead to, to actually make the cast. How much did it use? Okay, it only used an ingot. So we can make casts for all of these. And what the casts do is they let us actually use metals. Can we put the ingot casts in here? No, those are just for patterns. Let's get a normal chest. I might as well... Make a chest out here. I don't want a spruce chest. Okay, I might as well have a crafting table out here. And I'll probably put that like there. And let's put this chest right there. This is going to have our casts. So what we need to do, right, let's see what we're planning on making the materials out of. Now that we got this up and running, we need cobalt. So we're going to need cobalt for the head and, and for the handle. And then the ardite, that's for the, for the plate. So eight ardite, we have that. We can put that in. We have enough for the head, but we are going to need 311 cobalt. So let's go into the nether and get that. Now, I'm going to show you what I've what I've done for the nether, right? I've made a couple more rooms under this. So under the Thalmcraft room, I've added one floor here. This is at um, Y level 48. It's going to be a mining area for like tin and copper. And then under that, I, I ran into a mine shaft and I kind of like the aesthetic of making this our portal room. So I'm going to have a, a nether portal there. I, and the, the final floor here is just a mining area at Y level 13. So I'm going to light this up. Uh, yep, flint and seal. Let's put other tools back in here. So. Let's see where this takes us in the nether. So this is definitely a different area than we had before. Um, our portal was is 400 blocks that way, our old one. So we're gonna we're gonna have to change that. Probably delete that waypoint. Maybe I'll make it. Uh, old portal and then like a new one this would be our actual portal with like a purple purple science sure so let's look around for this stuff cobalt right and I actually want to test out if fortune works on this oh wow we need something that's Oh, wait, that is cobalt level. Okay, those burn you. So you're supposed to get one, but if we mine it with this... We don't get anything. It's good to know. I guess uh, we're not going to know if fortune works until we really try it out. That's lapis. 
Well, let's see if fortune works by testing it on the on the lapis, right? Ah, uh, okay, so it doesn't drop the actual thing. Don't know if we want that then. Okay, I'm gonna get a lot more cobalt. So ten cobalt should be good enough because I'm I'm fairly certain you can pulverize it too. And then after we do that, it, it doubles it. Cobalt actually has to get doubled instead of tripled because it's uh it's a more rare thing. So let's go back up all the way up and process this stuff so let's process the cobalt and the lapis does that get double too that that does a lot for lapis <laughs> so let's put that in there uh and we're getting cobalt very quickly i'm pretty sure we needed 11 right so there we go we got all the all the cobalt we needed there let's put 11 in. Actually could have probably put it in here, but that's all right. Let's use the plate cast. Oh, you know what I forgot? We're going to need two of these plates. So let's go back. I'm going to go back into the nether and get a bit more ardite as well. My bad. Luckily, it's not, you know, very hard to come by. Just like the, the cobalt, it's around. See more over there. We don't need as much of this. Hi, what are you guys doing? Don't do that. I don't, I don't like the, the sounds you make like a dog. When you die, I just want you to be like normal bad guys. We have a pretty good area over here. Like we have magma blocks, a lot of glowstone around. I like this area a bit more than, than the last one. Another copper ore. This will be a great place actually to mine since it like triples most ores. I want to get that. Okay, this is definitely enough Ardite now. 16, which I'm also sure it doubles. So, let's head back. So let's set our Ardite to process. Hopefully that, yeah, that does pulverize. Um, let's get that. So it's raining, that sucks. Can you sleep when it's raining? Nope, only at night. I don't like it raining. Um, for now, let's make at least one of the large plates. So let's make sure that... Manilium? I don't want Manilium. Why do we make that? Oh no! Ardite and cobalt together makes manilium. Guys, that's no good. Is manilium what what do we what do we do with that? It's really it has a really high attack. But um but I don't I don't need that. It'll be good for like making weapons. Now I'm going to need to get more more cobalt in there. So I guess we should do it one at a time. And thank God I had more enough cobalt for all 11. So we have three. We actually really need just the nine in there. Or the eight. Yeah, eight. So that has to get cooked back up. And then we're going to wait to do the rest of the Ardite. Because I don't want it to mix. So 
So we'll be back when that's ready. Okay, so we should have enough cobalt now to make our tough rod. Which is going to take quite a bit, but we're done there. And we still have 8 ingots, which is the cost of the, uh, the hammerhead, which is great. So let's switch that out. We'll put this back in here. And if we start looking at the part builder for the hammer, we can start putting these parts together, right? I guess we have to switch it back. But now this should be done. Uh, this takes a while. Let's go get... We have the Ardite on us. Uh, we're going to need to set 16 aside. And now there's only a uh, manilium in here. We should be good to put all of the Ardite in. And we're going to need to make two large plates. So this is done. Let's switch that out for large plates. Put that away. Put this part in here. I can wait there and we'll come back when this is done. Okay, so the Ardite smelted. We have to put that to the bottom. We just do that by clicking it. And let's start making the large plates. That takes a lot, a lot of Ardite. I wonder how long is it going to take to finish. Yeah, it's going to take a while. So I'll come back after this is done too. One plate done, and put in the second one. And we got two large plates. Let's make our hammer. Now let's put it like that. And cobalt ardite hammer that can have three modifiers and has a mining speed of 3.1 with a pretty high durability. We're going to call it... Uh, we're gonna call it Nether Mjolnir. I feel like both things apply. So I wanna test this out. Let's move that over. We can probably get rid of our chisel now. And we're done with that. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Now that I've cleaned up that mess, um, let's take a look at putting putting a fortune on this, right? So I want to know if you can actually... I don't know if you can enchant this through normal means. So let's take a look at um, enchanting it. I have a normal fortune pick and I have somewhere an anvil. I'm just going to put the anvil here and take this plus that. That does not enchant. So I know that we have to do it the the way of modifying, right? What in the world? Oh, I see. The lava is burning my wood. That's not good. I have to put a bigger radius of, of cobble. Get the cobble there. And I do need my chisel again. That is not good. I was very confused <laughs> as to why those silver bell things were missing. Um, so what I need to do is come up here, right, and modifying our tools works as so. You have to put the tool in the middle and then the actual item that's you being used to modify it right there. So if we get this materials and you out, we can see the modifications, the modifiers. We can use redstone for, for haste, for this going faster, and then lapis for luck, that's like uh, fortune. I wonder if getting lapis blocks. Let's go to sleep. I wonder if using lapis lazuli blocks speeds up the uh, upgrading process. 
Does that also put luck? So that does. And that is... Okay, so luck two to be applied. And then... We're basically using up all of our lapis. And let's go get some more. Let's try this out, though. By going into the nether. And trying to get some lapis out of there, right? This should be able to drop more lapis blocks. Now, th the whole reason that I, that I went through this process is because if we came into the nether and tried to mine with our normal power fist, even if we added vein miner to it and the 5x5 five five grid, it's not going to help us get, um, get fortune on, on our thing. The power fist can't uh, get enchanted, from what I believe, but this has the, the luck to add on. And what I was told is that luck actually works on the nether ores. I'm going to try that out right now. We just mined two copper, and we got two. So Nielsen might be lying to me. <laughs> let's, let's keep looking. Let's keep trying things out. The gold... Now what I notice is if I mine, like, the nether rack next to an ore, it takes less time than actually mining the ore. But I don't know if the, uh, the luck is actually helping right now. Let's find some lapis and try to add more luck. So we got some things to, uh, to process now. Um, it's, it's pretty hard actually to find lapis and redstone in the nether but I was trying to find both of those therefore we could get um, more luck and haste on this now I'm pretty sure that um, that what Nielsen said which is that fortune works on nether ores is not actually true or maybe he didn't mean it the way that he said it in the uh, in the comment but we still have a good use for this hammer and that is to uh, basically replace this this fortune 3 pick we can make a better version of it without having to uh, you know keep upgrading this we have a, a 3 by 3 fortune thing which is gonna be pretty useful uh, so let's see all of the lapis and stuff we'll get we're gonna wait for this to process so that makes a good amount of lapis I'm hopefully we can we can actually finish up the uh, the luck now so let's put that on uh, actually we need to put the tool in first and yeah that looks like that can get luck three no it's still luck two that that can get us to luck three we needed just a little bit more so that's looting three and then let's put on some haste so that's that's haste one, haster, can that get upgraded anymore? Should I put the actual redstone in there? Okay, so that's, that's as hasty as it can get. And um, so that's 7.69. Now the other thing I wanted to do, because this durability is pretty low, right? So what I wanted to do is I took a look at what modifier I need for the durability. I'm going to put that in there. Um, and I need to get Residian. How much do I have? That's enough for what I need to do. So when this is done, which is going to be pretty soon, we're going to put that at the bottom and make some empty casts. I thought we had a good amount of gold, so I might as well use gold. And what I'm going to do with this is make a modifier that is basically like unbreaking. Which uh, would be nice to have on our stuff. So I'm going to put that in the middle. Then that makes the reinforcements. 
So I should be able to put this right on there. It said it was stackable. I don't know how stackable. We don't have any extra modifiers, do we? Oh man. So we don't actually have uh, a modifier um, available for this. I guess using haste twice used up the two modifier spots, which I didn't think it would. We can just save this for other things, like I'm going to make a weapon probably. But what I do want to do is try uh, repairing this. So I think it's going to use cobalt, right? Yeah, that repairs it pretty good. If I put this in, we can see the stats. So it doesn't have... it has a lot of speed now. And it has... Maybe I should rename it. I'm going to rename it to Fortunate Mjolnir, because we're not really going to use it in the nether anymore. I mean, the Power Fist works fine for that. So uh, this will basically be our replacement for the diamond pickaxe. So I kind of want to test out the fortune on this. So let's let's go down here and let's kind of start mining. I'm going to find some diamonds. That's what I'm going to look for and see what the fortune on this really does. Okay, so um, didn't take long at all. Found some diamonds right down here. <laughs> uh, pretty easy. If I do say so myself, let's put Lux Capacitor in there. So I want to see how many diamonds we get in return for mining five. Five diamonds. We get 14. That's, that's better than doubling it by a substantial amount. I think um, we've done something very good here. <laughs> We've really effectively upgraded our mining status uh, for today. I'm going to put this back in here. So I've got a lot of cleaning up to do of my inventory, but uh, I feel pretty good about the progress we've made. We started Tinker's Construct. I think we're going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, next time we're going to look into maybe maybe miscraft maybe starting mechanism um tell me in the comments what you'd like to see and leave a like if you like this episode i'll see you next time